Maybe that's what Jing wanted. Of making him stronger. Hold on now. <laughs> I knew I was sus of these guys. They're doing it, man. They're doing it. I, I wanted to know if this was possible. All right. Hunter Hunter episode 65. Moving forward with our little gun and killer training arc with Bisky. Now, a couple things before this episode here. I am going to go back to one episode per video for the foreseeable future. I've just done a double episode video for Avatar as well. And I think after going through and editing two big double episode videos, I think personally, I prefer one episode per video. And since it seems like we're getting into some pretty deep stuff, both story-wise and to do with Nen as well, which I'll touch on in a second. I think uh, leaving room in the video to have like maybe a little bit of a longer discussion uh, per video rather than trying to have a really, really big discussion on two massive episodes. The double episode video hasn't actually gone up on the channel yet as I'm recording this, but I read all your comments on episode 62, I believe. And a lot of you were saying that, that you didn't mind either way or, or maybe one episode would be better. People search for specific episodes or maybe it's just better to have the extra room for the discussions like I was saying. But we'll see, I'll stay open to that. Maybe as we get into the next arc, uh, like people were saying, that is quite a long one. We'll see, maybe we'll go back to two episodes per. But for now, we'll stick with just one and we'll see how we go. Now, speaking of Nen and reading all of your comments, I've been on Hunterpedia, all right? I've been making sure that my Nen knowledge is where it needs to be, especially after last episode with all the advanced concepts of Nen being introduced. So it's all in here now, and I'm feeling pretty confident about it moving forward. It doesn't actually look like there are any more uh, advanced types of Nen, uh, at least from what I saw on the Hunterpedia. I was very careful uh, to avoid spoilers, but I'm pretty sure I'm good. Such a complex thing Nen is, man. When they started introducing it, just the basic principles, you know, I was thinking, uh, am I gonna need to know all of this? Is it gonna get even deeper? And the answer to both of those questions was absolutely and this is just where my head goes but because you guys are really trying to make sure that I know my stuff with Nen I'm thinking it's gonna be very apparent in some fights uh, throughout the show like just the different ways that Nen can be used like Ryu specifically to me uh, I find so interesting and all the extra stuff we got with Ko and Ken it's all really good stuff I want to see the auras like like during fights right I want to see it all moving around I want to see people like applying these concepts in real time I think that would be so cool and the greed Island story stuff as well is really popping off for me. I'm really enjoying this bomber stuff going on behind the scenes. I'm pretty sure I understand what's going on there as well. And the Phantom Troop as well. Now we got left off last episode with them coming up on potentially where Greed Island is geographically in the world. I'm really curious to see what happens with that. I was throwing ideas out there, you know, uh, they're trying to look for something to, to help Crollo. I don't know. It's all very interesting, but I think that's enough out of me. I'm going to get into the episode now. Like and subscribe. Check out the Patreon for early access if you're interested. And with all that being said, enjoy the video. And I guess the elephant in the room is, uh, yes, the beard is mostly gone. I'm trying to find the right length. I think where it was was too long for me. This is definitely too short, but something bad happened. I didn't want it to be this short. Let's just say that, but we'll get there with it. Who? Well, they got people guarding the island? Who is this guy? It's the next Uvo. Ooh. Razor. Oh, he for sure knows Jing then. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I like this little setup. They recognized each other. <laughs> They're both still here. Man, just volleyballed. Yeah, 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 I'm liking this. Okay, now he said emitter spells, right? Must be to do with his Nen type, right? But I have been wondering uh, how a lot of things work uh, on the island, right? But maybe it's to do with the designers like Razor, and he for sure knows Jing. Like, this is exciting stuff. Look, I, I wouldn't be shocked if none of this intersected with Gon and Killua. It it's just the Phantom Trooper here and they're on their own quest. I think that would be a lot of fun. Evil Fist and Rock, Paper, Scissors. All right, I talked about this a lot. I found this very interesting. And so did Gon. So to me, it looked like he was going to name uh, his co-technique Evil Fist and maybe incorporate uh, some of what Bisky was talking about, Rock, Paper, Scissors, into it. I think that would be so fitting. Let's see. 
必殺技のヒントをつかんでいたそれは「プレイズ」<笑> This is the greatest thing ever, by the way. Junken Pon as a Nen technique. Still need some work? <laughs> okay, and he can do that. <sighs> That's so cool. So rock is the enhancer, right? Paper is emitter, scissors is transmuter, right? And that makes perfect sense, like in the hexagon, right? That that is brilliant. I, I love that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. <laughs> Because he likes it. I like that. Show him. Gon's not seen this yet. <laughs> Electric eel. Yeah, that transmuter. So he's changing his aura into electricity, right? Oh, you have no idea, Bessie. You can see how much she cares, though. And that's because of God. Constantly reinforcing this man. Okay, I never really thought about that. Oh, for Killua? I didn't really think we'd be doing this. <laughs> right, so that's the card, right? Right, this is what I was talking about, the leave card. <laughs> Easy money. Let's go. <laughs> That's brilliant. What a callback. That's like episode two. Okay, I didn't see this coming. Now, Killer was gone to do the hunter exams, which I'm very happy about because I really wanted Killer to actually become a hunter, just like Gon. But right in the middle of all this juicy Great Island stuff, I was not expecting. So maybe Gon's just going to train with Bisky by himself for a bit? Hold on now. Yeah, yeah, cause it's not. Alright, okay. Some one on one training. He got the bomb on him. Like how Bisky instantly puts on a different persona. Okay, we're gonna get Gon and Bisky involved in this bomber situation at least. I'm here for that. Probably a bluff, yeah. I was thinking about that too. Right, so that's what I was thinking about too. Damn! And they barely even met. Avenger. Damn, they're just gonna. They're just gonna let it happen. That's so noble, though. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I couldn't really see a way out of it either. Okay, well, there's that. The disrespect. So how long is that? Hold on, let me um, let, let me like 2400 seconds, 40 minutes. Damn, they have they don't have long at all, man. Right. 
they only know so much and, and how much of it is true. So interesting. So he died. He said, that's nice. Right, okay. So interesting to think about. Like he holds all the cards, excuse the pun. Okay. Okay, he's trying to... I see what he's doing. Now, does this relate to Krollo's situation as well? Is it a similar concept? Him trying to move Karapika's Nen? The homie here trying to remove the bomber's Nen? A Nen beast? I see, I see, yep. Oh, this is a, uh, uh, it's a lot. Look. Oh. Looks good. Stay pocket to Hachiju issue. Bogdan will kaiser segre. Mochirunda, Yaksoka Mamuru. This is like a curse from JJK, man. Look at this thing. Hey, hey, hey. So, is this thing. Some, something's obviously gonna happen. It was a mass explosion. But the homie lived! Oh my god. All the ones left in the cave. But yeah, they, they had no way of knowing that, that this was what was gonna happen. The bomber is a freak. Goodness me, man. Release was the signal to explode, not disarm. And now they're out. Okay, he, he lives by seconds. And he doesn't know. This is literally Toji, man. Okay. Okay, this is interesting as well. What's he gonna do? You gotta find a lot of bodies, man. Okay, that- yeah, okay. The time has passed, so they're dead regardless. Alright, so Gon wanted to check if any of them were still alive. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay。How long is not too long though, Bisky? It's going to be long. Ooh, maybe not, okay. That's very exciting. Oh, I really like this actually. Something to look forward to. Right, oh my gosh, they just received a huge shipment because all the people just died. Well, I guess it works out for us. Prison. Save it, save it. True, true. Killer was like the decision maker. I want to see Killua doing his exam. Oh, it's the freaking... I instantly forgot what they were called. Gon just said it too. No way. <laughs> Kill was just having a yarn. Bro, what are they called? I'm gonna lose my mind if I don't remember. Kiriko, Kiriko, that's it. There's a little aura there, man. I see it. Okay, 
So this is for paper, right? He's trying to... Yeah. <laughs> it's something though, it's something. That's already better. Wait, he already hit it. Yeah, yeah, ever since the beginning with Wing. Bisky's the teacher you need, man. That was the quickest episode in existence. So these are the Kiriko, right? Because they, they shapeshift. Oh, that's a great shot. Fantastic. Alrighty, well, here's a bunch of situations I didn't think we'd be in at, at least this quickly. So first of all, Killer was going off to take the Hunter exams. Now, here's another thing I was just thinking about. Zepile was talking about taking the Hunter exam as well. So maybe Killer was going to meet Zepile there. That would be awesome. And I'm really glad that Killer was actually doing this. Like, I was really thinking, like, going forward with the show, does Killer would need to be a Hunter? I guess not, because he's learned Nan and he's learning everything he needs to, you know. At this point, the biggest reason for Gon becoming a Hunter was so he could get that box from Mito, right, open it up, and then, you know, find all this information out about Greed Island. But I really like that Killer was doing this. I think it's going to be great that he'll officially be a Hunter as well. And I think it's pretty symbolic. Like, he was talking uh, during the screening about, like, you know, he's no longer an assassin. He doesn't want to be that anymore. So now he can actually be a Hunter officially. That's really cool. And the other thing is, man, this bomber situation uh, escalated very quickly. Uh, I thought it might linger for a while. I didn't bother to check how long the timers were last episode. I should have, because that probably would have changed my thought process about it but just like that i think it was 81 it was 80 something uh restricted slot cards that the bomber now has and the group were talking about trying to get the remaining ones either from says Gera's group or they might have to fight them to get it something like that so maybe that's next on the bomber's list but it's worked out for gone and bisky as they've managed to cash in on a bunch of the cards that you know the group lost after the bomber and his homies released the bombs and set them off right and the one guy don't know his name he survived with that crazy conjuration of some sort of beast that he summoned to eat, you know, the, the Nen technique of the bomber, which I found really interesting. I did talk about that during the episode. And he already alerted uh, Gon and Bisky about the situation. And when they were talking uh, after the explosion, uh, I imagine the time had already expired, right? So they would have blown up regardless. But crazy that, well, that he made it sound like they resigned themselves to their fate. But at the very least, he was the only guy running around uh, trying to tell people and, and Gon and Bisky were the only people he could find. And I did catch what he said, right? He said they were the only people he felt like he could trust that would have a chance but truthfully they were the only people he could find he was just really trying to motivate them but i think he was genuine in the sense of don't let the bomber be the one to complete the game right so we're definitely going to run into the bomber at some point and the phantom troop as well man so they've been sent away by razor i did talk about this already at the start of the episode but just more layers more things to keep in the back of my mind about uh, great island even when killer were left he was like he doesn't feel like i'm out of the game no he's just in a different place in the world and i'm pretty sure it's hard for me to put this into words but i imagine razor like he said he was in charge of uh, emitter spells stuff like that so i imagine his nen is somehow embedded into greed island and that's how you know those specific spells work i imagine that's how greed island functions as a whole all the game developers however many there are they're different types of nen nen techniques are like embedded into greed island that's how everything works like that's the only thing i can think of like all the npcs and stuff may maybe they're all conjured you know we'll have to see i imagine it'll all spell itself out eventually and of course the best thing in this whole episode, uh, gone using rock, paper, scissors as a Nen technique. Like, as soon as Bisky described it last episode, I just knew it, 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 something like this would spark an interest in Gon. Rock, paper, scissors, you know, rock as an enhancer, paper as an emitter, scissors, transmuter, it, it's just fantastic. So he's using all three of the Nen classes that suit him the best. He's not just sticking to his one. Now, the one instance I can think of someone using a, a Nen class outside of their own is, oh, what was his name? Castro, right? That was the guy but the class that he was using was too far away from his main class right i remember wing describing that and that's ultimately why you know it wasn't refined enough to deal with his soccer i don't know if uh, outside of karapika whose case is slightly 
different. If we've seen anyone use an ability that, that comes from or uses a part of a class that's not their main one, right? Maybe we have, and, and I just haven't picked up on it because I've not been looking for it, but but I think that's really interesting. Because like killer was electricity, right? That That's purely like a transmuter thing, right? Like that that's just him transmuting or, or changing his aura into electricity. That's my understanding of that. And lots of emphasis from Bisky on Gon and Killer was friendship, like just how well they work together. Even the stuff that Killer has been through, like, like in the past, the fact that he can smile now because of Gon. Uh, I love the reinforcement of it. You guys in the comments have been talking about it a lot. Gon and Killer was friendship, big part of Hunter Hunter. And even Bisky like noticing like, like how quickly like Gon's progressing with this stuff. Like I was thinking maybe it would take a little while for Gon to really get the hang of his technique. But Bisky is like, nah, he might have it done by the time Killua comes back from the Hunter exams. And Killua being out of the game right now, like, like makes me think of a lot of things. I almost thought that he was going to pop out of the game, like where they went in. But no, he said he wanted to go to Doll Harbor and he was going to come face to face with the bomber. That would have been interesting. And he even said like, is this where I came into the game? No, it, it felt different. I imagine because like it, it looked the same, but he would have been a, a, on a different part of the island maybe. But that was a really good episode. It was a nice little break from just the influx of information last episode. A lot of things happened and it really flew by. That, that's how I know like I was into what was going on. So now going into the next episode, I'm really curious to see how this bomber situation develops further, right? I think the bomber are going to be like the, the main antagonist. Like I said, I think the Phantom Troop might have their own little thing going on. And they tried to come in from outside the island and they were sent away by Razor who said, look, come back through the front door. And if you find me, we, we can fight and you can get an item from me. And that's ultimately what the Phantom Troop are looking for, right? And it's not been explicitly said that the Phantom Troop are looking for something to do with Crollo, but like the, the show's planting seeds that that could be the case, you know, but with the guy, you know, getting rid of the bombers then. And I want to see Gon's uh, technique like uh, completed as well, like mastered. Because in my head, like I have kind of an image of like what, what it's really going to look like, but I want to actually see it. I want to see Killua breeze through the hunter exams, develop his technique further. It's just good stuff right now, man. So I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And as always, please continue to leave your comments and feedback down below. You know, I always appreciate it. And we'll see you all in the next episode of Hunter Hunter.